Yeah, so my name is, um, this is a long one, my name is Uluka Adedara Amolabo. People call me K, so my name is K. Um, I'm a PhD student at IB. Um, so it's good biology. I'm working with Steve Peterson and Jane Hudson. I'm um, looking at um, fossil particle genome, trying to annotate the genome and look at genes that evolve in other parasites. So pretty much my informatics work. Um, yeah, this that's my job. Honestly, one of the things that attracted me to a university is the research quality of the university. So before I came to Liverpool, I was checking list of universities in the Russell Group, universities known for research excellence. And then Liverpool was one of the universities. And then I felt, okay, I've been to Nottingham and needed a change of environment. And I wanted one of the best universities in the UK. So um, Liverpool was one of the places I considered. So and then saw the project, the project was really um, good, suited my background and experience. So I felt, okay, I will put into Liverpool. Pretty much you do everything yourself. They, they don't say, oh yeah, do this and this and this. Think about this and that. And then they leave you to do it yourself. Plus it's PhD, the expected level of maturity from a PhD student. So you go about just their fishing for the information and for, and then it's all about getting the results. So studying back home and studying here is slightly different. Um, here you have more expectation. You have so much to work with and then you have to make the most of it. So for me, Studying here is good. It's better because obviously you are doing sort of the hard research. You 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 know what you're doing is really relevant to what the world is expecting at the moment. But at the same time, with that much resources, you have to meet up to it in terms of job you need to do. They have this thing they do where they do an induction before you start your PhD, a whole day induction, and then. On the day in the evening, they have like a, I wouldn't call it a party, like a get together where all the lecturers and the departments come over with other researchers, students, and then you meet with the new students. So that way, you can put um, a face to the names. You can say, oh, this is your supervisor, this is what you do. You can actually have a chat about um, what you're doing or things that are not necessarily academic so that way you can interact with people, get to know people. My supervisor is an amazing guy. Um, I haven't spoken with him over the phone, I could tell he was a friendly guy. Then when I came over, um, we met, told him these are my plans, this and that, and then we started talking. I could see from him what he expected, he was interested in my personal development, he was interested in what experience I've got, he was interested in my background, what I've done, what I'm looking forward to. As an international student, you want to settle as soon as possible to get your PhD run. So I think it was really good of him to do that. Living away from home can be fun and at the same time can be challenging. Um, the fun part, you get to meet people, you get to interact with people, you get to travel places, talk to people, meet new people. But the challenge of studying away from home is you, you meet family, um, your loved ones at home, you want to talk about the phone. So that can be a downside, but a way to it is to try and maintain communication with your family. One, visit home when you can, but at the same time, meet new people, interact with new people, to stuff that would take your mind off studies. University of Liverpool is a lovely place to study. Um, the environment is serene, the bus system is good. Um, you can actually buy things for cheap. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's a lovely place. The, 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 the community is good. Lecturers here tend to be of help, they can relate with students very well. Um, there are lots of non-academic places you can visit, what I mean is tourist attractions. So if, if you like the social life, you can have that here in Liverpool also. So Liverpool gives you a balance of the academic and the social life. So I think that's really good for international students. 
I think for an international student who wants to come to Liverpool to study, I think it might be a good thing for you to, if you can make contact before you come. And then once you get here, try and get um, people that would help you out. What I mean is talk to people, go out there, make friends, interact with people. Um, if you have any challenge, as soon as it comes up, talk about it. Talk to your supervisor, have a good relationship with your supervisor. My supervisor, I meet my supervisor every week. So I always talk to my supervisor. And then I have friends that I also talk to. I have international students as friends and I have a few of home students and people from other parts of the world. So for an international student, it's good to talk to people, talk to people, talk to people. And I love support for students. So if anything comes up, as soon as it comes up, quickly address it before it becomes complicated.